Hi guys, Coach Rob here. Let's take a look at um, your Coach Rob performance report card as it relates to your bike time trials. There's uh, two things I want you to pay attention to. You obviously have completed your 10 mile time trial. Maybe you did it once or twice depending on your specific protocols. And what I want you to realize is you're going to be inputting your data in these blue columns. Your date will be denoted here. Your five miles out, your five miles back will be broken down. And you'll notice that it's broken down in seconds. There's an easy second converter over here for you. Okay. So let's just say that it took you um, roughly 15 minutes and 25 seconds to go out. Okay. And, and I'm just using hypotheticals here. All right. What I want you to realize is how easy it is. I just use my arrow key over, or you could use your mouse. So let's just put it in here at 15 minutes and 25 seconds. All right. What that's going to do is that's going to convert for you what that is in seconds. So for example, it's 925 seconds. So for the first five miles, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put in 925 miles, excuse me, 925 seconds. When we come over to here, if your heart rate monitor provided it for you, what was your average heart rate at the five mile mark? Let's just say for purpose of illustration here, it was 142. And at the end of that five miles, the max that you saw was maybe a 151. I'm just using complete hypothetical numbers here. Don't get hung up on the specific numbers if yours are higher or lower. We're going to do the same thing for the five miles going back. But let's just say you sped up a little bit and you got back in 15 minutes and 15 seconds. That converts to 915 seconds. You're going to put that in here. We're going to update your average heart rate and your max heart rate. Okay. And we're also going to put in the date. So let's just say hypothetically you're doing that December 1st, 2010. All you're going to do at this point is you're just going to save that data. All right. And your performance report card's been updated with your field testing relevant to the month of October. Now let's say a month has transpired and now you're here. Let's just say it's November 15th. Okay. And you've gone through and you've converted your numbers and you've got updated information that lo and behold, you've gotten faster and you're able to capture both your resting, excuse me, your average heart rate as well as your maximum heart rate. And you've got everything that you need here to be able to go back and evaluate whether or not your training protocols are working. Please reference the other, the next video about how to interpret the data, whether or not your body's improving or it's not improving according to your goal profile. But for the sake of this video, I wanted you to see how easy it is for you to take your time trial data, convert it to seconds, fill it in over here for your first five miles out, second five miles back, upload any of your information that you have relevant to average and max heart rate, and then you can hit save. Come back in, update it, and then hit save. When you and I talk on the phone, we're going to be comparing month to month throughout the year to make sure that you're getting progressively faster and ideally at a lower average and a lower max heart rate number. We're going to discuss what those physiological uh, numbers represent in our next video. So if you have any questions about how to input this data, please feel free to email me. My email address is rob, R-O-B-B, the number three, at earthlink.net. And again, I appreciate you watching.